Yo, 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 what's good with it, y'all? It's your boy Lamborghini Preem, back once again talking this boxing shit. And as always, make sure you check out my all-new album, It's My Turn, The Throne Ascension LP. It's a motherfucking classic, full of G shit. And um, it's actually the deluxe edition I just released last month. It includes three bonus tracks, and um, you can expect a bunch of accompanying videos to be released very soon. From yours truly on my other channel, you know, Supreme General Music, you know, you can, um, there'll be a link in the description box for you to go check that out, but I would love for you to go check that out and subscribe, I'll be dropping some dope shit, and I got a lot of dope video concepts that I know y'all gonna enjoy, in addition to all the other shit I'll be doing that's fly over there, also, if you really fuck with me the long way, make sure you hit up my official site, hustlegameboss.com, forward slash shop. And cop you some official Supreme General merchandise. You know what I mean? All of that shit fresh and fly. You're going to love it. But uh, with that being said, let's move on to the video. Got my nigga. This video right here is pertaining to the potential upcoming fight. Well, it's not potential. They both announced it. So it's a real fight between Adrian Broner and Manny Pacquiao. Now, uh, this is probably one of the most intriguing fights towards the end of the year that um that's coming up you know i personally it's, it's so many question marks surrounding this fight that it's hard to even pick a winner you know what i'm saying because my heart is telling me a b gonna pull this out he gonna actually show up show out and do what he's supposed to been doing you know what i'm saying that's what my heart say my head say manny pacquiao has the skills his style is all wrong for broner and just logically his boxing IQ and all that shit with all of that when you factor it in he should easily beat Adrian Broner but personally um I'm gonna pick Broner for this fight I know that the plan is for Pacquiao to beat Broner and then go on and have that lucrative rematch with Floyd which I would love to see if he did do that you know what I'm saying I think that's the, the perfect plan to make that that fight happen but honestly uh just i mean that age shit man when in any other sport you know you can kind of see uh your decline coming but when it comes to boxing that shit could just be overnight you know what i'm saying because pacquiao looked good in that fight against matisse but to be honest i think matisse was done i think uh he lucked up and ended up getting a um well you don't luck up <laughs> don't want to say that <coughs> because honestly anytime you win a world title or a world championship it can't be considered luck you know what i'm saying it can't be it's just it's too hard to do you know what i mean so many great fighters from yesteryear that were great fighters that just never ever became champion you know what i'm saying certain guys just like my man rocky juarez you know what i mean shout out rocky juarez that ain't he ain't too far back in the past but He's one of those great fighters that never won a championship, but in my eyes is a champion. You know, so I, I got a lot of respect for any guy who can win a championship. But at that time, at this time that I'm speaking on, my man L Lucas Matisse was fucking done. In my opinion, Danny Garcia took his fucking cookies and that was the end of him. You know what I mean? After that, he was just done in my opinion. Well, not done, done. After the Molina fight, he was done, done. <laughs> you know what I mean? So... I mean, that's just the way I was looking at it. So, I, I expected Manny Pacquiao to beat Matisse. I, I didn't think it would be as handily as it was. But given the fact that it was so handy, the way that he dispatched him, I still think he got a lot left in the tank. But to be honest, I don't know if it would be enough to beat an Adrian Broner at this point in his career. Now, even though AB, you know what I mean, a lot of tread got took off his tires in the fights with Maidana Porter and um Mikey Garcia a lot of trade especially in the Maidana fight but I, I, I still think it's enough trade on that tire to go ahead and, and you know win the race when the rubber meet the road you know what I mean so I think I think AB you know he done slowed down a little bit in my opinion he is the younger AB you can see like just certain flashes of greatness and those flashes are becoming few more few and far between with every fight now you know what i'm saying he had his moments in the vargas fight but i just really think you know the maidana fight mentally might have fucked him up as far as you know his um 
reticence to let his hands go like he should. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I believe it's moments of fights where he know he got to let his hands go. And he doesn't because he understands that after the Maidana fight or the Maidana fight taught him that he can still be caught. But caught clean. You know what I'm saying? If you get caught clean enough, you will go to sleep. And I think that's really what he avoids, especially in that Mikey Garcia fight. I think that was the tail of the tape, if you ask me, as far as that went. So, um, I personally, although I can see Manny Pacquiao winning this fight, I don't expect him to do so. I expect Pacquiao to look great in the first two rounds. You know what I'm saying? Oh, also, I have to add this disclaimer. If Manny Pacquiao will be tested for performance enhancement drugs, I definitely would be picking Adrian Broner to win this fight. If there's no, like, Vada or USADA going on for this fight, and I haven't read anything that says that it is or isn't, so, I mean, you never really know. It's a world title fight. I'm not sure if either of these guys, you know what I mean? Well, I know AB ain't on no juice, but, you know, with Pacquiao, you know how that go. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I just, um... I don't know. That that worries me. Even at this point in his career, though, I believe uh, juiced up Pacquiao still might not be enough for A.B. You know what I'm saying? A.B. talent might still be able to trump that. And I think it's a good chance. But to be real, if Pacquiao juiced up, man, all it takes is one punch. And honestly, I don't want to see Broner fight this guy if he is juiced up. I believe Broner fought uh, Vargas and he was juiced up. I believe Maidana, when he fought him, he was juiced up. You know what I'm saying? And it's a couple other question marks. I'm not going to say nothing about those because I don't got no definitive proof or anything that really, really leads me to believe that. But like I do with, you know, those other individuals I just mentioned. But <clears throat> I don't want to see AB fight a guy who's cheating. I don't. I want to see this shit even playing field and see what the fuck happens, man. You know what I mean? If Manny Pacquiao the best man and he win, he win. I'm a Pac-Man fan. I fuck with him. You know what I'm saying? I'm a bigger AB fan. I would like to see him do better and win. But, you know, shit. I mean, you know, it might go left. But, shit, if a, if a motherfucker juicing, though, I can't respect it. So, I'm going to just leave that there and say it like that. But, when it come down to the come down... Pacquiao got the skills, the talent, and the experience to beat Broner. But Broner at this stage in the game has more left in the tank, more tread on the tire, and I think he's just going to beat Pacquiao. You know what I'm saying? I want him to beat Pacquiao. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, I'm a fan of AB. I'm a fan of what he do in the ring. You know what I mean? Let me be specific about that. In the ring, I'm a fan of what he do. You know what I mean? And I just I just like his style overall. So, you know, I wanna see I wanna see the young brother do good. I wanna see him win. I wanna see him turn everything around and prove his naysayers wrong. Yeah, that's a long shot I know, but shit, it might happen, you know. <laughs> oh shit, man. I gotta get some water. I'm parched. But uh yeah. As far as that fight goes, I expect A B to win. And probably by stoppage or TKO, cause you know, I really don't see him doing too well with a uh, decision. Although a decision is the third most likely way to do it. <clears throat> I think AB stops Pacquiao. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm in a minority as far as that opinion goes. But I believe in my man AB at least for this fight. <laughs> you know what I mean? He ain't looking too good in training like I would like to see him. It looked to me like um, he carrying a little bit more weight. It looked to me like... Uh, He's in one of those situations where he only training when it's t- when the fight coming up. But shit, you know it is what it is, man. He's still 27, 28 years old. He's still in his 20s. Pac-Man, damn near 40. You know, AB should win this fucking fight. You know what I mean? And if he don't, he's a gatekeeper from here on out, in my opinion. Same thing with Pacquiao. This is the battle of the. <clears throat> Not the battle of the future gatekeepers, but the loser is a gatekeeper. You know what I'm saying? And that's just all I got to say about that shit. So my official pick is Adrian Broner to win by stoppage or TKO. You know what I mean? Over my man Manny Pacquiao. Uh, I'm going to do another video as the fight get closer when it comes to this fight specifically. Because if AB don't look good in training or I, I see something that or hear something that, you know, made me change my mind. I, I reserve the right to do so. But as it stands right now from what I've seen, I got AB by stoppage. You know what I mean? I'm going to fuck with y'all. Holla at me. I'll be around. You know, 100.